वर्णिवे शरमणीय दर्शन मंदहासुचिराद्नाबुज पूजित सुरनरोतमुदा धर्मनंदनमह विचित श्रीगणश्याम महाराज जय श्री हरि कृष्ण महाराज जय श्री ठाकुर जी महाराज जय श्री सदगुरु देवनी जय सुप्रीम ऑल माइट ही और बिलो ठाकुर जी महाराज पाथमिक कटोर लिब्रेशन पूज्यपात गुरु जी इन ऑल ऑफ यूटीज जय स्वामी नारायण टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वन ऑफ स्वामी ने बात मैंने गुणादितानंद स्वामी ने बात बट बिफोर एंटरिंग टू द पॉइंट वी शुड डिस्कस समथिंग रिलेटेड टू अवर डेली लाइफ सपोज ड्यूरिंग द क्रिसमस टाइम यू ब्रॉड अ क्रिसमस ट्री एंड यू हैव फुट इट वन ऑफ योर वन ऑफ द कॉर्नर ऑफ योर रूम and you have decorated it with different ornaments lightings and even you are enjoying most of the day every day the different lightings and ornaments hanging on each branches of the tree who will visit your house also enjoying it and they also appreciate your effort in this way you are very happy but suppose suddenly one of a day the tree anyhow maybe because of lightings or wirings but anyhow it catches the fire and gradually the whole tree cover into the flame of fire now you you are in another room when you got it like there 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 is some fire in your house and when you come out then you watch like your christmas tree your all the effort and everything is burning you want to extinguish the fire even you have a extinct fire extinguisher in your house but still the flames of the fire was so high and so uh, like it it was too much fire like you cannot even dare to enter that room to extinguish the fire now how can you extinguish that fire if you will not extinguish the fire immediately then the whole house caught the fire we have different ways definitely you call me uh, you tell me like you immediately call 911 and get the help but the firefighters came and it has like 10 to 15 minutes and meanwhile your whole uh, yeah, your house maybe burning half so you definitely have to find the other solution why i'm asking you why i'm telling you about this fire incident it's concerned with this swami nivad it concerns with today's discussion let we see what gunadhan swami says in his vat gunadhan swami says if someone comes charging at us with the intent of beating us we should understand that everything happens according to my god's wishes however without his will no one can steer or live this is what gunadhan swami says in his vato so suppose someone is coming towards us and with the perfect intention to beating us or even to kill us with the weapons in his hands or maybe not someone but maybe a group of people group of angry people coming towards us and specially to kill us or beat us 
at that time how what kind of understanding we should have or this is like the fire just as your christmas tree is burning in the fire in the same way the group of people or even someone who coming us to kill us or beat us they have the fire of anger in his or their minds i definitely would like to say like chris the burning christmas tree to extinguish that fire that very easy or if it 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 was not extinguished at the same time then it will cause to fire the whole house that's it nothing else but you definitely save your lives as well as the other family members life but this fire meaning the fire of anger in someone's mind if that cannot be extinguished at the same time then it will cause to take one two or many persons lives so this is very important to extinguish the fire of anger and gunadidanand swami shows us the way very easy way how to extinguish such kind of fire if someone comes charging at us with the intent of beating us we should understand that everything happens according to my god's wishes meaning the karta apanu of bhagwan meaning all doership of bhagwan we know this is the one of the foremost quality of bhagwan but still sometimes when the situation arises at the time we forgot this like this happened because of bhagwan's wishes or we even forget totally this idea and immediately we are blaming the other people even though without doing by any person there is nothing happened but still as gunajan swami says here we should firmly believe we should firmly understand at the time in such a situation that everything happens because of bhagwan's ichcha bhagwan is all doer when we have this firm understanding then and then without doing anything the fire of anger in the other people's mind it will be definitely extinguished without making any effort i know no one can believe this but this is true this is the fact how is it is possible like without doing anything one can extinguish the fire of anger from the other's mind if i am talking about controlling the fire of anger from my minds by myself then you definitely believe you definitely accept this like you can control yourself but how without doing anything you should control the others mind that's the power that's the secret but today we are going to learn this technique today we are going to learn who has this kind of technology who has mastered this technique to extinguish fire of anger from the others mind the fire in this physical world it damage damages the uh, worldly things maybe precious or whatever that doesn't matter but this anger damages even cause to someone's life so we have many examples from our adi guru sadguru sri muktanand swami's lives but today we are taking only one in incidents from muktanand swami's life we know in swami narayan sampraday there were thousands of sadhus at the time of bhagwan swami narayan 
Even Bhagwan Swaminar himself initiated more than 2,000 sadhus at that time. But among all those thousands of sadhus, Muktanan Swami is foremost and we can say he is like a he is like a root of everything. He is like a root of this sampraday. He is like a root and the main foundational stone or foundational pillar of this sampraday. Why? Because he had contributed that much work or that much things in this sampraday. Like we, no one can, no one else can do that. He had tolerated. He had. Uh, he had even started, he had uh, tolerated the insults of the others, he had given discourses to the people, even he, he had traveled too much for the preaching and spreading the sampraday. Even he had, he had been given, he was given by the oppositors, uh, even the poison many times, not for one time. Still, without caring for himself, he is traveling, according to Sri Maharaj Agnya, he was traveling for the preaching and for the wishing good of others. That Muktanan Swami, we proud to say, he is our Adi Guru. That's why I am talking about his life incident. Why? Because we need to grasp the same qualities in our life. That's why if we want to, someone in this world, if some people like kids like you, anyone who wishes to become a doctor, he definitely focuses his mind on particular that life, that line. If someone is wishing to become an astronaut, he definitely watches that kind of videos and he, he was interesting in such kind of books and that line. In the same way, we, we are Muktanandi, we, we want to become like Muktanand Swami because he is the source of saintliness. He is the source of not only the saintliness but he is the source of even establishment of this Sampradaya. He is the main root, he is the main saint of this Sampradaya. He is the heart of Bhagwan Swami Narayan. And that's why, let me see what happened in Muktanand Swami's life. Once upon a time, Sriji Maharaj was seated in, in the Sabha in Vartal. Then, at the time, the other Paramhansos, meaning all the saints and devotees, they were also gathered in front of Sriji Maharaj in the assembly. And at the time, a folk of ascetics from the other religion, they came in, a, in an extremely angry mood with weapons to create trouble. They wanted to kill Muktanan Swami. Why? Because they knew about Muktanan Swami's personality. They knew that if we kill Muktanan Swami, then there will be no one besides him to take care of the whole sampraday. And gradually, we will be succeed to totally destroy this Swaminarayan moment, this Swaminarayan fellowship. With this bad intense, this group of bhavas or ascetics, they came in an extremely angry mood with weapons create trouble but seeing their ferocious side Sri Maharaj immediately called Muktanan Swami and Sri Maharaj with a very few words he explained the situation to Muktanan Swami Swami said it's okay Maharaj there is no problem you and the other sadhus and all the devotees you can depart immediately but please provide me two, three things. One, a flower garland, a coconut, and a bowl full of sakar. 
please provide me these th three things. Then immediately Maharaj told one of the parts and he immediately provided these things to Muktanand Swami. All the other Maharaj, the other Santos and all the other Haribhaktos and everyone, no one remained there. Everyone was inside the mandir and the other premises. Now, on the compound, uh, in the compound, only Muktanand Swami was there. Now, around like approximately 50, about 50 person, the group of ascetic, they're coming towards Muktanand Swami. They have the weapons in their hands and they were shouting. They were very angry in their mood and they were coming to kill Muktanand Swami. They were asking, who is Muktanand? Where is Muktanand? When they come close to Muktanand Swami, Muktanand Swami with a smile, without having any trace of fear in his mind. Even though they were coming to kill Muk him, Muktanand Swami knew about that because they were shouting for his name. Still Muktanand Swami didn't have any kind of fear, not a trace of fear in his mind. He even gave a smile and he lovingly asked, who is the head of your group? Then the head of the group of the Bawas, he came in front, in front of Muktanand Swami. And Muktanand Swami garlanded him. Muktanand Swami put a garland around his neck. Moreover, Muktanand Swami gave him a coconut and a bowl full of sakar. This is what in uh, at the time, even today also, it is uh, called as auspicious thing to offer someone as a respect, as the highest respect, in particular uh, respecting to the ascetics and the other saints. So Muktanand Swami lovingly call him, you are like the Parsad of Vaikunthanath, meaning you are the Parsad, meaning you are the Muktas of Bhagwan. of so in this way, Muktanand Swami lovingly called them and then Muktanand Swami even asked them, did you eat anything today? Please put everything aside, meaning these weapons, and please uh, follow me to have a lunch. In this way, Muktanand Swami courteously and with very hum become very humble and with very respected and loving words, he welcoming them. Please welcome to our mandir. Please welcome to our this very famous tirth. We'll waiting to welcome you. This is today we we are very fortunate to have your darshan, and uh, it is our fortune to serve you. Please accept our service. In this way, Muktanand Swami was courteously. Uh, welcoming them and suddenly some uh, one of the bawa he asked but where is muktanand who is muktanand then muktanand swami says do not worry i myself is muktanand we will talk about uh, we'll talk later but first you should take prasad in this way when they found like this is muktanand is this muktanand we have listened, he is the head of this sampradaya and he is the main uh, main person of this sampradaya and he is spreading this sampradaya and the understanding of uh, Bhagwan Swaminarayan and everything. Then he, he might be like different, he might be like ours, but he is totally different. Then immediately they folded their hands and asked for forgiveness. We are coming to kill us and you have give us this warm welcome and you have provided us with this food and other things. So we are not, we are not the parsad of Vaikunath, but you definitely, you, you are the pure saint of Bhagwan. In this way, even the persons, those who are coming, killing to Muktanand Swami, they accepted like you are the pure saint, you are the true saint and we are not. Immediately the fire of anger from their 
mind extinguished without doing any special or any other things. Even just guess the situation. If someone were killing to uh, coming to kill us and they have the too much anger in their mind, can we dare to say something to those people? Definitely we run away at the same time. We even not dare to stay there for a second. But this is what Muktanan Swami's calmness or which we can say Muktanan Swami's saintliness which extinguishes the fire of anger from the others. Now coming back to the example of the Christmas tree. We have watched the fire of uh, the video of the f flames coming out of the Christmas tree, the burning Christmas tree. Now we many times have seen or watched the videos or have seen or face the event when there there was some fire and we you may have sometimes used the fire extinguisher but today's technology time we have a different kind of things to extinguish fire that's very easy let me see the video and then compare the videos with with Muktanan Swami's saintliness let me see this video If there is a fire, without taking extinguisher, you can throw the ball into the fire and immediately the fire blasts the ball and immediately fire extinguish. That's a very easy way to extinguish the fire. Even you can hang, you can put the fireball over there and with the with coming into the contact of fire, immediately the fireball blast and the fire extinguished. That doesn't matter how much the fire was, but only one or two wall is enough to extinguish that fire. So imagine Muktanam Swami's saintliness is like that of this fireball. Without making more effort without any harm or without any danger or without any destruction, more destruction or anything harm, nothing. Everything is complete, meaning our purpose will be fulfilled with this single ball. And fire automatically extinguished. In the same way, Muktanam Swami's saintliness is enough to extinguish the fire of anger from the other people's mind. In the same way, we have seen the same kind of incident, even not only in Muktanam Swami's life, but today in our Guru Parambara. This tradition is also coming to us. We have to follow this tradition of Muktanam Swami's saintliness. Now there were many examples of these fireballs. It's very simple to use in the same way. The saintliness, the power of saintliness is also very simple to use. Otherwise it will ruin our mind as well as the others. It will ruin our life as well as the others life. But if we have this kind of fireball in this in the form of saintliness, in the form of understanding the doership of Bhagwan, then we'll definitely extinguish the fire, not only from our mind but also from the minds of others. Now take an, another example. As I have said, like 
this is not in, uh, not only in Muktan and Swami's life, but also the same thing coming still till today in our Guru Parampara. Our Pujya Dada Guruji, he has also the same saintliness, same kind of saintliness. We cannot say like there is any kind of difference between the saintliness of Muktanan Swami and the saintliness of our Pujya Dada Guruji. The same amount of saintliness, same kind of, uh, same level of saintliness Pujya Dada Guruji had. Once upon a time, Pujya Dada Guruji was there in in the city of Mumbai. There was a grand temple over there and Pujya Dada Guruji was the head of that mandir. At that time, Dada Guruji had uh, organized many grand level festivals. Just as Dvisatabdi Mahotsav in the memories of Bhagwan Swaminarayan's but uh, meaning just as we have celebrated to 40th birthday of Sriji Maharaj on this Hari Jayanti, in the same way, 40 years ago, our Pujya Dada Guruji had celebrated grand level bicentenary of Bhagwan Swaminarayan's birthday in Mumbai. At that time, a group of some other religious people, they coming to destroy the celebrating site. No doubt, everything was according to the permission. The land was of government and everything was going to the according to the permission and everything was smooth. But, mainly by jealousy and envy for our religion, our sampraday, the group of other people, uh, the group of the people of other sampraday, they coming to destroy our celebration site. The canopy, the decorations, the stage, the seating arrangements, everything we have completed. Only a day remain from the begin uh, for, from the beginning of the festival, and that was the nine days long celebration. So at that time this group coming but they were like loudly shouting against of our sampraday and they were coming to uh, uh, in very angry mood and they had clear intention to destroy the mandap and dome and everything. They wanted to destroy even the stage. At the time, some devotees, they tried to talk to them, but even they didn't listen to anyone's request or anyone's anything, not a single talk. They were coming, and some devotee running towards Pujadada Guruji, he was a little far from the site, and the devotee informed Dada Guruji, like, what was going on there. So at the time, Pujya Dada Guruji said, it's okay, nothing will happen. I'm coming with you. Let's go. And Pujya Dada Guruji come, just Dada Guruji came in front of these angry people. Immediately, without even Dada Guruji didn't say any single word. And immediately, the group of these angry people, they immediately become calm. Even they could not believe where their anger went. No one even, not any devotees even thought for this. Like merely by his presence, everything was become smooth. How is it possible? Without spoken a single word, that is what Pujya Dada Guruji's saintliness. His sentiness is like that of Muktan and Swamis. This is what the power of sentiness and how this sentiness come to their lives. As Gunadadana Swami says in his talk, if someone comes charging at us with the intent of beating us, we should understand that everything happens according to the wishes of my God. However, without his will, no one can steer even a leaf. This is the power behind the saintliness. Otherwise, in such a tough situation, 
No one even can dare to stay there. But Dada Guruji not only stay, but he even change the minds of others. Merely without spoken any single word. Merely his presence is enough to calm the anger of the others. His presence is enough to extinguish the fire of anger from the other people's mind. Even those who are not devotees. And that is why we should, if we want to grasp the same quality, meaning same amount of saintliness in our life, then we must need to understand this Swamini Vat as well as we have to follow this Vat. We have to believe, we have to understand like everything happened in this world is only and only because of my Master's wishes, my Maharaj's wishes. If we believe, if we have such kind of unflinching faith, then and then we can obtain the same amount of saintliness like that of Muktanan Swami and like that of our Pujya Dada Guruji. Even Swami says, without his will, no one can still even a leaf. This is the firmness in this understanding. Understanding Maharaj's doership. And this is the sentence, how without his will, no one can still even a leaf, that gives more force. It gives more strength to the faith that Bhagwan is all doer. And Muktanan Swami and all of the other Sadgurus of our Guru Parampara, they have this understanding firmly in their lives. And that's why they remain steady, stable, and ever growing in all kinds of situations. It is not like that, like no obstacles happen or no problem or difficulties happen to Muktanan Swami's life. Everything is happened. Even many times, many different people have tried to kill Muktanan Swami. Once in Amdavad, he was given a poison. But still nothing happened. Because he, he was living with Maharaj. He was living on totally like after surrendering everything to Maharaj. And that's why Maharaj is taking care of him. In the same way, it was not like that. Nothing was happened to Dada Guruji's life. Many problems, many difficulties came to his life also. But still, why he remains steady and stable in all kind of situations? Why? Because he has this understanding. Like without my Maharaj wishes, without my Maharaj's will, no one can steal even a leaf. Once in Mumbai, there was uh, Mandir's property. And they were given on a rent. And those, who, uh, those people who were given this on a rent, they were not going to give back the possession of the property to the Mandir. And Pujidada Guruji was the head of the Mandir. So he gave the notice to all those who were using the property. Then at, at the time, one of the dawn of the city, he came to Swami. And he even, for an hour, he was speaking very bad words to Swami. And even he was like, uh, he was... Uh, abuses Swami and he was like even he gave like uh, he he said to Swami like if you will not understand and if you will not uh, giving us this property then we'll even kill you and many things he told to Swami meaning Dada Guruji but Dada Guruji didn't say any single word he just listened And he was just chanting Swami Narayan Swami on his Mara. He even didn't care or he even didn't notice what he was speaking. 
when that person that don he stopped speaking at the time swami lovingly told him dada guru ji lovingly told him by this is early morning so please i think i guess you didn't have take a breakfast so first swami when told some devotees please take this to the dining hall and provide him with a hot breakfast first then swami told him after uh, you you should go to the dining hall and after taking your breakfast we'll sit again then you you can tell me whatever you want to then that person he fell down to swami's feet he was looking at swami's eyes how can this be possible like i am even someone to to someone whom uh, i say something like this immediately that person either left the place or provide me what i wish what i want and instead of doing anything this uh, any 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 of this thing this swami this sadhu he is asking me for my breakfast how is this possible immediately he was fa- fall down to swami's feet and ask for forgiveness then dada guru ji told him like nothing happened you just don't worry about it i didn't have listen any single word spoken by you i was chanting with the remembrance of my bhagwan this is the power of saintliness why because dada guru ji has this thing in his mind like without bhagwan's will no one can steer even a single dry leaf so how can these people can harm me or kill me this is what understanding of our guru parampara now we are muktanand swamis we are of our dada guru ji and in this sampraday we have to live according to these principles because this principle was not of anyone's this was given by gunajitan swami as well as many times sri ji maharaj has himself says the same words in the vachanamrut many times in the vachanamrut so we have to abide by these commands of bhagwan and gunajitan swami if someone comes charging at us with the intent of beating us we should understand that everything happens according to the wishes of my god however without his will no one can steer you on a leaf because why it is important in our life because now just as in the life of muktanand swami and in the life of pujya dada guru ji no one coming to beat us or no one coming to kill us but if we abide by these injections if we imbibe these qualities in our life if we imbibe these virtues in our life then what happen we at least remain calm we at least remain steady and stay at the place and we even remain in steady in each and every kind of situation come to our life because life is full of happiness and misery there is not even happiness every day in anyone's life and not only miseries in anyone's life so when miseries come to our life if we have this understanding then we can remain steady in all kind of situations that is why muktan swami and our pujya dada guru ji they have through their lives through the incident of their lives they try to give us this message to follow this gunajitan and swami vato and imbibe the virtues of accepting understanding and believing all do worship of bhagwan swami narayan in each and every situation moreover they told us through their lives always believe always without bhagwan's will no one can steer a single leaf this is what 
we can understand from our Guru Parampara's life as well as from Gunadhan and Swami Nivato. This is like a fire extinguisher, a fireball, which without doing more effort or without doing any harm to ours as well as the others, we can Im immediately extinguish the fire of anger from anyone's mind. If we have accept this belief, meaning understanding all doership of Bhagwan, then and then we can have this saintliness. And if we have this saintliness, then we'll, we can also do the same thing what our Muktanan Swami, Puja Dada Guruji, and all our Guru Paramparas, Parampara, Sadguru Santos, they, were, they have done in their life, we can also do the same in our life. Just as they have pleased Maharaj and they have enjoyed the Rajipo of Maharaj in their life in the same way, if we have this understanding, meaning Maharaj all doership in all situations, then we also can get the same Rajip of Sriji Maharaj in our life as well. By saying this, my humble Jai Swaminarayan. Sri Ganeshyam Maharajani Jai Sri Patim Sri Dharam Sarvadevishwaram Bhakti Dhar Matmajam Vasudevam Harim Madhavam Keshavam Kamadam Karanam Swaminarayanam Nilakantham Bhaji Sri Ganeshyam Maharajani Jai